Hello everybody. This is Danny S. Hodges. I got you a good one today. This is the ultimate outdoor TV antenna kit. And I'm going to show you how to put this thing together. And I'm not only going to show you how to put it together, I'm going to show you how to make the complete ultimate TV antenna. Because I reckon I need to show you that from the, you know, the, the showing you the kit. I might as well show you the rest of it. I want to start out by saying this is a full complete kit like the the ones I sell uh, this right here is what it consists of here's all the screws the wire that you need the transformer the little pieces and and I got them notched out in the kit because I felt like I probably better do that and uh, I'll show you this right here here's the box I got eight of them right there. I put eight of them on, um, on the store that starts with the E. I put eight of them on there first. And I'm not going to be wasting much time shooting the bull today. I'm pretty much going to be laying it on the line. Okay. First thing first. Get your backbone out. And mark a center line. All the way down. Center line right here. Take your ruler. Mark your center line. Okay. I done done this. I done got this video prepared. See my center line right here? And uh, I just took a, a ruler. I marked the two ends. I marked the two ends. Put a ruler down it. And got me a, a line. Okay. These pieces right here, these four pieces right here, mark your center line down it. When you mark your center line down it, take them and turn them all this way. And mark your sideways center line. Okay, so we got the center line. We got our pieces here marked for the sides. And here's what you want to do. Lay your, your first block up here. You know, and get it flush with the edge. That's what I do. And make you a mark right here. And then you want to mark down nine and a half inches. See this? I got another mark, nine and a half. You want to mark you four marks, nine and a half inches. Put your line I did I did sand this a little bit right here so my my I wouldn't rub my mark off because it's kind of bad about that and uh here's here's how you want to double check it I'm gonna show you this lay your two up here and it goes above the line by the way but here's how you double check you see put it on the two marks and uh Lay your, your, your zero of your ruler right here, <clears throat> and you should have nine and a half right in the center. But double check that, make sure, make sure you got that right. So I got me a drill bit in here, and it's a little bit bigger than what my screw is. These, these pieces right here, man, they, they rough, man. They, anyway, I, I reckon I'll tell you more about it. Now you see right there, you see I got my line. I know it right I know right exactly where my hole needs to go. And you see my drill bit's real real dull. But it don't matter. Okay. Go ahead and do all four of them. I'm gonna go ahead and do that off the of camera. And see this little red tip bit? They got them at the home store. That's what fits these right here. So now we're ready to to put them on here. And see, I got my I got my sideways mark here. I got my sideways mark here. I got it marked this way. We talking about easy money now.
these screws right here is roofing screws. So you know if they, they, they metal roofing screws. So you know if they're good enough for roofing for a 30 or 40 year roof, they're sure good enough for an antenna. Okay, here's the wire. This right here is 10 gauge wire. I'm going to show you how to straighten this wire right here. Take your wire and straighten it best you can. You need 8 20 inch pieces for your whiskers and you need 2 30s for your up and down on your antenna. And it don't matter how mangled up your wire is. Get it as straight as you can by hand and then I'm going to show you how to fine tune it and straighten it out just like this, where it look like this. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, if you hadn't got a vise, I usually put the tip in a vise. But I'm going to show you how to do it like with a pair of pliers. Uh, you can get your wire tip or whatever. But uh, I'm going to get my buddy to hold this this one end right here. Just kind of hold it right here even for the, so the camera will be lined up. And I'm going to stick my drill in the end. Just like this. See that? Okay, uh, get right straight across here, Evan. Okay, pull it a little tight. Okay, we got it. We're pulling fairly tight. You know, I reckon uh, maybe a pound, if I'm just guessing. I'm going to spin this drill. That's all it takes right there. Now, look how straight that is. Okay, that's a 30. And uh, here's a 20. I'm going to stick the drill in the end of it. All right, you ready, Em? Mm-hmm. Okay. And here's a 20. Well, here's the, here's the 20 and the 30. Look how good that is right there. Okay. Do all your pieces like this right here. And uh, we'll go to the next step. All right, you can go ahead and lay your 30s. Here's my two 30s. I'm going to go ahead and lay them up here. And here's my my eight 20s. And uh, take your uh, measuring stick like this right here. Get your end right. It, it make sure that they all 20 a piece. I'm going to lay them out right here, and I'm going to lay them side by side, and uh, I got to put a 10 inch mark on them, so I'm going to take my marker, see I got it spread out here, I'm going to take my marker and mark every one of them at one time on 10. These have got to be bent into whiskers. Get right beside your mark. Get right beside your mark like that. Hold your, this thumb right here, hold it kind of close to when you start bending it. You want that black mark to be the corner. See how I'm doing that? Okay, and you want all these four and a half inches. Man, I found out that four and a half inches seems to work the best. I'll do another. Just in case I held, held it high, getting right beside the mark. There it is, right there. I tell you what, I can. I didn't know so many. I can about look at them and tell. That's an eight of an inch short. So uh, get them four and a half. Do one more. One more. All right. I'll do the rest of them off camera. I'll be right back. All right, I got all my whiskers done. Here they are. All right, I'm going to take my marker. And don't let it move. And I'm going to mark in the center. And 
And I want to show you something right here. And see, I'm not going to mark this one in the center. I'm going to mark this from the center to the outside. I'm going to mark it halfway, like, like this. Because this bin has to be longer. So I'm going to uh, put me a dot there. i just go ahead and do all of them. I want you to look at this. See how I haven't got my black marks in the center? These these end pieces, they have to be a little bit longer. Okay, I'm going to pull this down. And uh, see these three right here? You're going to have to find you something that'll work. But uh, what I'm going to be doing is laying this right across here. And I'm going to put me a weight on here. Just to hold it, just to hold this still. Okay, here's my torch I'm using. But you can do it with it like one of them little bins of magic. As long as it's a little torch. But you can't do it like with a regular solder now. Alright? Watch this right here. And maybe I'm putting salt on the top. Hey, that's it. And that is done. Okay, okay, something that might trick you. I'm gonna move, I got to move this one out of the way. Because, well, I'll show you why. This one is coming back this way. So, get this right here ready. Okay. So now, I'm going to solder this side. You got two on one side and two on the other side. The, the ones that I, the ultimate outdoor antenna that I sell on eBay, I don't exactly make it like this, but it's the same idea. I just know you ain't got like the setup I've got. All right, that's done. This antenna being soldered together will make it last a long time. And like I say, it ain't everybody that wants to make their own antenna. But you antenna builders out there that's... I try to make it cheap enough that you can have a professional looking antenna and have the best antenna that money can buy. So, when you get through, it's what your piece looks like. I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do another one of them. I'll be right back. Now, all I do is just set my two pieces in there. They just, I just set them up there, so don't get overwhelmed. Now, what I'm looking at right here, this is what I'm going by. I'm, I'm putting these two. I'm putting. This right here in the middle. If I can ever get that wire out of the way right there. I'm putting this in the middle. And I'm just looking at it, but I can look and tell what's center. And you can too. Don't worry about your outsides. You know they right. You get this right here right. And I seen these screws right here in the kit. And uh, this is one of them gold uh, yellow tips. This is a little bit bigger screw, and it's self-capping. 
So, see, you don't have to drill it first. And uh, I try to do it where you can see. You know, you don't want to try to screw this too hard because that, that stuff is grabbing. And um, I'll go ahead and do this side, and then I'll do the bends. So I'm just sending that up to... I'm just taking it easy. I ain't in no hurry. This, a, man, this is a grip. This is a grip like a summer gun. And you see me put a little bit of a twist on it with, with my hand there. And you go and you do this right here, and you do this right here to both ends. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take both my hands and put them together like this right here. And I'm gonna grab it like this. I know you can't hardly see. But I'm gonna like make a Z. And then I'm gonna grab this and, and make it come back this way. See that? See my X right there? And uh, here's the other end. I'll do this. See me grabbing it about two inches away from each end. And I'm doing that right there. I'll show you one of them. I'll show you that first. Then I grab this and do it. Now see, see how that's hitting right in there just right? I'm going to take this one right here and bend it down some. I'm going to take this one right here and bend it up some. That's, what, that's another reason why you're making that a little long. And uh, I'm going to do this in the same way because you got to do it before you screw it. All right, here we go. Y'all, I first made me one, one of these. I was wanting to watch something on a local TV station that wasn't on the satellite. So I made me an antenna. And I didn't realize when I was making it, I was making such a good antenna. But I just got lucky. And made the best antenna you ever seen in your life the very first time. And this design right here, it's been around for a long time. But they ain't let them pick up TV waves better than this. Now, this one will pick up UHF and VHF, but uh, because of how it's made. If it had the short whiskers, the way that you know the way that most of them do, it would it wouldn't pick up VHF too good. But that's what makes it do that. That's the reason I always say you can get an antenna that looks like this, but it won't pick up like this. I'm gonna clip these. Remember the extra I was talking about? Okay, and here's the transformer. I also see him one of these. And uh, I'm old. This far is crooked a little bit and I straightened it up. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to burn this and I'm going to strip it back. Get it just like that right there. You know, the thing about this being soldered is it'll last forever. It won't never lose contact. If an antenna loses contact, anything loses contact, it'll mess up the phase of the whole antenna. And this will sure mess it up if, if, it, if one side of this comes loose. It'll still pick up, but 
it won't pick up but halfway. I'm taking this and bending it like this. I'm gonna lay it down in there. I gotta, I'm gonna show you something. I, well, see how I bent that? I went around one turn and then I bent it like that, like a. So I'm gonna turn it on around. I'm gonna wrap it. I get to wrap and I'll be right back. Okay, I took my needle nose pliers, made this pretty, kind of went around it, made it tight. Here we go, next step. Boys, this right here can't be beat. Now, I ain't heating up my little wire there. I'm just heating my big wire. You don't want to stick this, you don't want to stick a torch on your transformer wires. All you want it to do is get hot enough to melt and then quit. Hey, that's it right there, son. So I'm going to take this and turn it over. And, uh, I seen one of these in the kit. This right here is one, uh, UV treated to or whatever you call it. You know what I mean? And I'm going to stick this up under here uh, so it don't flop around in the wind. I'm going to set that up tight and cut the edge draw. You know why I'm cutting it off? Because I want it to look good, man. Okay, these three pieces right here, they come in the kit. Here's what I'm going to do. These screws right here, the same screws that I screwed up, the whiskers down with, you know, the wire. I'm going to screw this down. And I'm going to put this right lined up with this. Alright. And uh, put one on this side. I'm going to put one in the middle, no particular measurement, just, just centered up. Then I'm going to put one on the end. And then look at how pretty, look at how pretty that is. I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna go outside and I'm gonna show you how to straighten that reflector out. Now, if you buy the full antenna and uh, you can like click see sellers, other items, it already comes like this right here in the box. So it won't come rolled up if you buy the complete outdoor antenna. Okay. When I make these reflectors, I put some to roll up like this, and that's what them are. You know, I can't put the bend on them. And then the ones I showed you on the porch, them's the ones I put on the full antenna. All right, here we go. Okay, unroll your rope. You say, well, that don't look like mine. Believe me, when, when I get these, they got them rolled up in a little roll, just like, uh, you know, when it starts getting to the end, they got them rolled up in a little roll. But what we want to do is, first we want to kind of get it straight. You can do it with a hammer. Sometimes I do it with my hand. Well, I do it with my hand, my hammer, a board, everything. It ain't much trouble. And, you know, it don't have to be perfect neither because when you put the bin in it, like what I'm fit to show you, uh... It'll, it'll straighten out a lot of, a lot of little crookedness. I take this right here, do that. I want to tell y'all something too. I 
I ain't worried about whether I sell very many or not. But man, I have so many people that's called me up on the phone wanting this antenna. And the woman lied to me, told me it was $120 shipping. And for two years, I just sat here not doing nothing because I thought it was $120 a ship. I mean, I didn't know no better. I ain't never shipped nothing. But if you, you can make your own antenna, you can make your own, or you can buy the kit, or you can do anything you want to do. How about that? All right, I want to show you this. And this ain't really that big of a deal. But see, this wire, this center wire right here is on this side of the reflector. So I'm going to flip that over. Because when I set it down, I'll, well, I'll, I'll try to remember to show you that. Just put the, this center wire side up when you do this part right here. Hey, y'all, I didn't know. I didn't figure all this out in one day. This is four years of innovation. And I just kept making it better and better and better and better and better. And uh, I got it now where it's professional, you know. You can take this antenna, this kit right here, and you can go make you $400, son. Easy. You know, I do them, I do them in Dublin here where I live at. And I charge $320. Uh, this, this ain't a rich town, but the man that the man that sells them, I'm about put him out of business. He he charges up uh, seven or eight hundred dollars. And I was up the road testing the other day. The man told me that that he contacted the man about putting an antenna up. Said he told him nine hundred dollars. I think he's just trying to take advantage of. Him. But uh, anyway, that ain't you know that ain't nothing to do with me. But uh, I went and you know, he come out there while I was testing. He come to the house. He come out there while I was testing. It, my wife told him where I was. He come up there and I got him good to go. And see, I'm going to screw this down. You live could do a better job than I'm doing because I'm sitting here running my mouth, see, and you won't be doing that. But uh, this is the outside square. You want it. You want to. Be in your reflector as wide as you can. And uh, I screw that down. Uh, now I do mine with a metal brake, but uh, you just simply do this right here. And we don't want to bend it all the way down. I'll show you. You know, what I've done is, and, th and it was intentional, I come up with a easy way for a poor man to be able to watch TV. The, and I've got even more of a method than this, like my whole outfit. You know, if I'm doing it for $320 installed, uh, you know, that's... Uh, you know, that's hard to beat, you know. We 60 miles away from Macon, Georgia. I can get the channels in Macon. They ain't about 21 channels. But I can get every channel all day long. My TV don't never mess up. These people aggravated me around here before about that, you know, that, that $20, 180 mile antenna, you know, it's so popular because it's cheap. And it comes with a rotor, and it also comes with a, uh, with a booster, which I can't tell the booster works on it. 
and the rotor ain't no good, and people start to start comparing my antenna to that, you know. Well, I can, you know, well, I can go get that and for $20, and it's got a rotor. I said, you go get it. You go get it. I said, and then you send it back, and then you call me. And, I, and I'm doing that a lot, too, boy. I ain't lying. I want to show you how I... I want to show you my setup. And this is a good business, y'all, uh, for y'all antenna builders. I try to... I try to make it... Look at that. But, man, it looks just as good as if I took it and put it in the metal break. But, um, there you go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get the antenna. I'm going to show you this right here next. And see how I got this screwed to my pole? I got it screwed down, three screws. I drilled it, screwed three screws in. There's a booster I got, a Channel Master booster. A lot of people ask me about that. This is probably the best you can get. This is a 777-8. This antenna right here. Won't run. You you can't use that seven 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 on this antenna. It's too powerful. And there's my pole. See, I I get my poles when I go to somebody's house. I already got the antenna ready to go. And uh, all right. I made a YouTube career with this antenna. And you know that I'm selling them. And you know. If this antenna wasn't as good as what I'd say, my YouTube channel, or I got three or four channels, as I got five, my channel will get shredded up to bits quick if, if this antenna wasn't as good as what I say. Okay? I put this down the center of my antenna. You see, I got three blocks here. See, I got three blocks here. So I got this reflector perfectly centered up. Okay, I got the screws in it just to save time. And what I'm doing right here is see, is I put one in this corner, and I went up three lengths, and I jumped back to this other corner. And uh, done the same thing here, and up top. I want to tell y'all this right here. I ain't too much to line kind. And, oh yeah, I meant to show you something else. I got this out to show you and forgot to show you. See this long screw I seen in the kit? It goes all the way through, all the way down into this piece. I'm telling you, I got this thing all figured out. It's, it's all a perfect plan. But, uh, man, this thing's just as good as it can be now. And this and... Not only will this antenna hang with the big boys, it'll outdo them some. And uh, it's, it's that design. It's them whiskers. Hey, that's it right there. Look at that. When you go to, when you get through, uh, you know, check these. You might have to, you might have to move this over. Uh, you, you know, you can be in your wires, but this right here is good, uh, uh, you know, this gauge wire is good. Make sure you stay spread it out right here, like when you turn it over and lay it down. Make sure that stays spread it out. If it, if it needs opening back up, opening back up. Look down your whiskers. Make sure that they all run in line, running in line, and make sure that they all flat. Just like that. That's it. I, you can you can look down at this one right here is pretty good. I done got so good at it that I can I don't have I don't even have to look down at it. I can just look at it from up top, but I've done made over a thousand antennas. Hey, ain't that pretty boy? Ain't that pretty. Thanks everybody. We'll see y'all next time.